Okay, imagine that this is the first time you walk into a casino or visit an online gambling site. You want to know which games give you the best chance of winning. As I always say for the vast majority of people, gambling is a form of entertainment. The good news is that it can be one of the cheapest forms of entertainment. Each game has a built-in advantage for the casino, which can be displayed as a house edge or as a payback percentage to the player, known as the return to the player, or RTP. I'm going to explain to you how the RTP is calculated for games of chance, starting with a simple coin flipping game. In this game, you make a wager and then select which side of the coin will be displayed after I flip it, heads or tails. If you are correct, you win even money, or $1 for each $1 wagered. This is a statistically fair game with an RTP of 100% or a 0% house edge. You will neither win nor lose in the long run. However, what if I only pay you 90 cents for each $1 wagered for a correct guess? To calculate the RTP, we must find the probability of a win. In this case, the odds of a winning bet on heads is 1 over 2, or 0.5. Multiply this by your total payoff, $1.90, which includes your original $1 bet plus the 90 cents in winnings. The result is 0.95, which translates to a 95% return, or a house edge of 5%. Every dollar wagered in the long run will lose five cents to the house. This is how the casino makes its money. Let's use a single zero roulette wheel as another example. You feel lucky and make a one dollar bet on number 17. There are 37 total possible outcomes, zero through 36. One of them is a winner. The probability of winning your wager on 17 is one over 37. The total payoff is $36, your $1 bet, plus $35 in winnings. Multiply the two together, and the result is 36 over 37, a return of about 97.3%, or a house edge of 2.7%. The RTP is the same for every possible bet on a roulette layout. For example, let's assume you want to bet $1 on black. There are 18 black numbers and 19 non-black numbers. The probability of the ball landing on black is 18 over 37. The total payoff is $2, $1 original bet, and $1 in winnings. Multiply 18 over 37 times 2, and the result is once again 36 over 37 for an RTP of 97.3%. One final example I want to give you involves the roll of two dice. Let's say I offer you a chance to bet $1 that you will roll a total of 11 on the next roll of the dice. If the roll is indeed 11, I will pay you an additional $15 for a total payoff of 16. Sounds good, no? Actually, it's a horrible bet. Let me explain. There are 36 possible combinations for two dice. Of those 36 combinations, only two of them make a total of 11. The probability that you will roll an 11 is therefore 2 over 36, or 1 over 18. Multiply the probability by the $16 payoff, and you get a return of 16 over 18, which translates to a return of 88.89%, or a house edge of 11.11%. Now you must be thinking, this is a terrible percentage for the player. What casino would offer such a bet? Unfortunately, this bet on an 11 is offered at every craps table in America. It is also a very popular bet. If you made it to the end of the video, give yourself a pat on the back. The information you just learned will help you understand how the RTP, or house edge, is calculated for games of chance. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more casino gambling videos, including skill-based games that can help you increase your chance of winning on your next gambling session.